wheels. Here's a little sneak peek. Hey guys, Christian here. Welcome back to another 335i episode. Today is gonna be a good one since we finally get to put the coilovers on a 335i. And I'm so excited because that puts me one step closer to putting the wheels on the car. I know I've been waiting for this moment and I know you guys have been waiting for this moment. So today is gonna put us one step closer. I'm gonna head over to Eurocharge Orlando right now, which you guys already should be familiar with if you've been following the 335i series. It's the European shop here in Orlando that helps me out with my car. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna install the front lower control arms on both sides and the coilovers and maybe we'll test fit the new wheels we'll see anyways let's go guys if you didn't see the last episode i pretty much transformed the entire front end using three cheap mods if you guys haven't checked out that video i'll make sure and link the entire playlist down in the description below so you guys can check it out the difference before and after is night and day completely it looks so good so i get into my car and i automatically notice something is not right with the interior can you guys see it it's literally on the frame look up there that is literally the headliner to my convertible top. Goes to show you how hot it is in Orlando. It just kind of separated it. So after looking at it, I'm thinking to myself, how did that come apart? But then you look closer and you realize that it's held up, guys, get this, by glue. There are several clips up there that are literally held up by glue. Like, are you kidding me? So my guess is that it's so hot here in Orlando, that and the combination that the BMW is 12 years old, it just came off. Shame on BMW for cutting costs in every possible area they can do so. Anyways, we're almost at your recharge Orlando. I'll see you guys there. Watch how fast the shifts are with the XHP transmission flash, guys. Watch this. That is dual clutch transmission fast. Well, not exactly, but pretty damn close. We are finally here and it looks like they're super busy. Got a lot of cars here on the lot. I missed you guys, man. <laughs> I missed you, bro. Hold up. All right, guys, this is the suspension we're gonna be installing on my 335i. These are the BC coilovers, the BR series. Pretty much the entry level one, but to be honest, with all the features that it comes packed with, I wouldn't really call them entry level because they offer so much things than the other competitors do for the price point. I think I paid uh, a little under a thousand dollars and they come with everything that you want. Obviously adjustable coilovers, you get adjustable damping and essentially everything you need to lower your car and make it drive great. To my left, these are my wheels. Here's a little sneak peek. All right, that's enough. And as far as adjustable dampening, it's really hard on the E93 convertible to get to the back struts. So I ended up paying like $40 to get these extenders. That way, if I ever need to adjust the dampening settings, I don't have to remove all the liner from the back of the trunk. Here, I'll show you guys why I got those extenders. Normally, you would have to take all of this out just to get to the knob where you adjust the dampening settings. And instead of doing that, you get the extenders and maybe we can rot them out maybe through the side right here, so then you can adjust it much easier without having to take all of this off. Eurocharger Orlando's BMW Master Tech Angel wasted no time and got straight to work. Like I said earlier, we're gonna be installing some new front lower control arms to both sides. The bushings are bad on mine, and I ended up buying new bushings before, but then we realized that the ball joint was bad as well, and they don't sell that separately. So I went ahead and bought two, Brand new front lower control arms. Make sure if we do the suspension, we do it the right way. So I messed up a little bit, guys. I bought the wrong control arm. I bought the front lower one. I was supposed to get the upper one. And if you look it up online, it doesn't even say control arm. It says tension strut. And that's the one I was supposed to get. It's the front upper one. So we're not gonna swap out any of the arms today, just the coilovers. And once I order the right parts, then maybe I'll install that myself. It shouldn't be too hard to do those. Oh, I guess I have to return these. I really have no use for them. Damn it. I hate making mistakes like this, it's so costly. I'll tell you something, there's a big difference between the BC ones and the OEM ones. I'll tell you something, I like these better. Guys, look at the fitment on this BMW, it's unreal. There's just enough play for it to fit. And look at what the rears look like, it's so clean. So this one here is the old front lower control arm. Um, Angel said he's gonna swap them out anyways. He said he had to remove it either how. So he's just gonna put the new one and that's one less thing that I have to worry about in the future. So he's replacing it at the moment. This is the one I was supposed to get guys. This one right here. This is the, the tension strut. 
the uh, the front upper. That's what I needed to get. Um, and this is the one that affects steering. When you steer left and right, you can kind of feel it like wiggling around like the wheels. This is it right here. Apparently too, that I'm gonna be able to feel it a lot more when the car is lowered as well. So my question is, what's the, 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 the swing links or whatever? What's the purpose of this? For adjustability, also for ride height too. So like when you have stuff that rubs, uh -huh. so that's the main reason why they put it on there. And it's also for a little more adjustment for your front end. Gotcha. So you can have some more. But not every car needs that. Not every car has that or needs it. No. But in your case, you need it. Because I'm assuming you want to go really low. Or at least a decent amount. A decent amount, yeah, for sure. Just go, just, just, take, just, just take my ride right Dude, that's too much. <laughs> The question is, can you put people in that car? Yeah, I would actually have my girl drive up to Tampa with it and it did not run. Really? I got a rock chip in my windshield, but... Because <laughs> you're riding so low. Yeah, because I'm low. I'm you see all the work that he's going through over there? Trust me, I thought about installing the pullovers myself, and then once I watched a few videos on how to do it, I was like, ah, I'll pass, I'll just bring it here to your recharge. So if you guys need suspension and coilovers put on your car, this is probably the best way to go for our cars. It's a little complicated and time consuming. In time, I'm very limited on, so that's why I'd rather get Angel to do it, because he knows exactly what he's doing. If somebody like me was doing suspension like that for the first time, it would take a lot of trial and error, and a lot, a lot of time which is not going to work for me. What you're seeing here is Angel putting a load on the suspension. That way he can properly tighten up the tension strut. Not doing so would put too much pressure on the bushing. It seems like you did this one much faster than the other side. Yeah, it just uh, has less sensors. The other one has more sensors on it too. Oh, it has more yeah, sensors it, on that side? Yeah, it has the uh, steering angle sensor and the uh, and the ABS and the brakes. This it's all on that side. Yeah, this one just has the ABS. Do you like what the lip, lip ended up looking like? This one obviously a little loose because he took the bolts off right here. But came out pretty good, right? Good. Make a paint job. Looks good to me. It passes in my eyes. All right, guys, it looks like the two front coilovers are already installed. So now I'm just gonna start working on the back side. Guys, I'm gonna show you a really sick car that your Recharge Orlando is working on at the moment. Well, you probably already just heard it. it. Sounds good, doesn't it? Wait till I show you what it looks like. This is crazy. Look at this. Dude, that is absolutely beautiful, guys. With the Liberty Walk wide body kit. I mean, this is just sitting right. Your car? Yeah. <laughs> Dude. Oh my goodness. It looks so good. Let me know what you guys think about this car. I mean, this looks aggressive as hell. What you said? Imagine all the people living in peace. Wow. <laughs> I wonder what the offset are on these wheels. Holy sh. sounded nice let me know what you guys think about this uh, Nissan GTR I think it's sick this is definitely the part I had the most curiosity with this looks like a to do uh, yeah, some Just gotta take out this cover. is this soft spot where it's at no it's oh okay that's where the mount was hiding right there for the back truck right there under all that covering what are you looking for uh, so you gotta compare the size for preloaded. Oh, okay. They don't come preloaded already? Yeah, I just wanna make sure because sometimes they don't, uh, they say they do and then it's like they're different. And they're off. Yeah, I wanna make sure. They look about the same? Yeah, they look about the same. As you can see, unlike the front coilovers, the rear ones have the strut and spring mounted separately.
was funny, guys? I keep having to step inside of the little office over there because the camera keeps overheating, guys. When I'm telling you that it's hot in Orlando, I'm not exaggerating. It's super hot. The camera came and keep up with it. So every time it starts to overheat, I have to go back inside to the AC, put it right in front of the air conditioner so it can cool down, and I'll come out here and try to film the rest of the stuff. Pretty much, guys, having that extension to the to the damping controls, you wouldn't have to take any of this off. So what he's Angel's gonna do is gonna rod them through here and then through this little hole on the vinyl, so then we can adjust it whenever we feel like it. If you guys see this vacuum hose line right here that goes connected to the exhaust, this is what operates the flap that's on the left side of the exhaust. And if you take this off, it's supposed to make your exhaust sound louder and much better because it's gonna deactivate the flap essentially. do it from the trunk but apparently that shoots out colds so this doesn't nice we'll see how it sounds later on once we put the vehicle down it should sound really good oh this is the last side to add the suspension guys and we're gonna be able to see how good she's gonna look they work on all types of cars here at Euro Charge you got BMWs you got a Bentley the Nissan GTR that I showed you guys earlier. You got more Mercedes, BMWs over there, and that 335i all the way at the end over there, which is apparently one of my viewers. I'll tell you, putting everything back up. All right. I don't know if you guys can see that, but the lip that I just installed recently already already scuffed the paint underneath. Yeah, I'm super glad I bought these extenders because it's gonna be less of a pain whenever we need to adjust the damping settings on the suspension. Um, we can route them to come out of the trim on the side, that way it's e uh, easily accessible. Alright guys, the coilovers are installed. I mean, maybe the front looks a little lower than what it used to be, but definitely not the rear. It's almost the same and that's because these are the stock height for the coilovers. Obviously I'm going to adjust them once I get the wheels on the car. And to be honest, the ride height on the stock wheels looks really good. Obviously on the video where I install the wheels, we're going to fine tune the coilovers and make sure that it sits just right and it has the best fitment we could possibly get it to have. Hey guys, so it's the next day. I wanted to drive the car around for a little bit before I give you guys my impression on the BC coilovers. Typically when you first install coilovers, you want to drive around a little bit. That way the whole suspension can settle in properly. Look at this guy. Guys, this is without me adjusting the height. These are just the coilover slapped on directly. I haven't touched anything. It settled in completely and the fitment looks really good on the stock wheels. And here are the front wheels as well. They're sitting pretty lower than yesterday before I started driving on the car. Now that I drove on it, it dropped just a bit and the fitment on those wheels just looks so good. And this is what the entire car looks like from far. Man, it's crazy how much of a difference you get in looks just by lowering the vehicle. Just wait till you guys see what it's gonna look like when I install the new wheels. All right, so first impressions, and I'm gonna be really honest, it's gonna be really hard to give one just because the car desperately needs an alignment after changing the suspension, which is, by the way, something you must do immediately after you install any type of suspension or disassemble anything there. All right, guys, I'm going straight and look at the angle of my steering wheel. One thing that is super noticeable now that the car is much lower, I can really feel the bad tension strut. Remember I told you guys about the front lower control arm? Well, I ended up buying the wrong thing. I needed a tension strut because the bushings on those are bad. You can now feel it like 20 times and you can hear it. I don't know if you guys would be able to hear it. I'll see if you guys can hear it in the video. But you now you can really feel how bad that bushing is, I guess because there's much more pressure on it. Um, so that's a must. I have to change that and then get an alignment right afterwards and, and then I should be able to really tell what the suspension feels like. But right now it feels unfair to judge it, uh, to be honest. Also, I wanted to mention one thing. I just showed you guys the height for the car on the, on the stock height for the coilovers. I forgot to mention that I have wheels in the back, which you guys have probably noticed. Those are the ones I'm going to install in the car. That's as much as you guys are going to see for now. So that might have made it a little lower so it sits a little higher without um, load inside of the car. Let me see if I can get you guys to hear the sound of the bad uh, tension strut bushing. Hear that? Oh my god, that's right. So when you turn the steering wheel from left to right, you can really hear it. Let's see, I'll show you. Hear that? 
That's the bad bushing. That needs to be changed ASAP, guys. Riding on a brick road like this, it feels like my whole freaking car is just about to snap in half. That's what it feels like. With no suspension, it's lower. <laughs> the ball joints are bad. The bushing is bad. Like, my car feels like it's about to snap in half. All right, guys, those are my impressions on the coilovers for now, but it's honestly not fair to review them right now just because I need to get an alignment, put the wheels on, and adjust the height. After that, if you guys want me to, I can do a full breakdown, an in-depth review about them, and kind of give you guys the pros and the cons to them. There's a lot of controversy regarding the BC coilovers because of the price you can get them at you can get the entry-level ones the BR series for less than a thousand dollars which is the ones that I got on my car um, people are quick to say that you get what you pay for they're cheap and they're not good but if you guys want me to I can do a breakdown video I can change the dampening settings I can do all types of tests and kind of tell you guys my honest opinion how they feel like how they ride and if they work really well with the 19 inch wheels that I'm planning to install anyways guys that's it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure and hit that like button and as always thanks for watching Till next time.